Hello everyone, welcome to Algorithmic Finance. On this channel, we'll learn how we can create our own algorithmic trading system to be able to get reading of bad sides of psychological effect on trading. So we'll learn how we can write codes, how we can create our own system. On this video, we will learn how we can put if statement when we're creating our expert advisor, our robots. If statements, one of the most important part of programming that we will use all the time, all the time, every day every code that we write there has to be if statement on it so that's why it's so important now let's move on my computer and start coding and see in practice so this is metatrader 5 terminal window from here with press f4 or i can put this ide button so i will move on meta meta editor window on this window i will create new expert advisor file expert advisor template next I will put here if version 1. This is this will be the name of file. Next. I will not mark any of these. And same here. Now this is my template file. So to be able to simplify, I will just delete the part that I will not use on this class. So here is only this on init function that we will be using today. On, on init function is basically the function that will run once when we attach our expert advisor on chart. Let's see on quick, I put alert function and with quotation mark, I say merhaba. So this is how we say hi in Turkish language. So I compile. So with F4, I move back to terminal window expert if statement when i draw and drop on gold as you see i only get once this alert so because this is how on init function runs so let's also send one order and to be able to see how easy to trade automatic way if you know if you know how how you can write the correct codes i include trade library All this code that I write here, so you will be able to see on comment, in first comment, it will be pinned. So you can just copy and paste your file to be able to use efficient way, so you can easily modify them. Now my library is ready, so I will call trade and I will send buy order. Here as you see there are lots of parameters, I will define all these parameters. It asks lot, one lot. I put null, which means where expert is working, it will open the position and that price. Here I need to define the symbol price. If I am buying, I have to define ask price. If I open sell position on this time, so I need to define bit. I should be careful on this. Symbol info double, current symbol and ask price. And next, uh, I will not put stop loss take profit here I need to put comment this will be test number one I close the parentheses and I end up with semicolon after I compile as you see I get zero error with F4 I move back meta terminal window I remove expert that I run before to be able to see better i close all this position now again i will draw and drop on gold i let Al algo trading is on when i compile as you see the system opened one lot gold position without stop loss take profit as you see column and the comment comment of this ticket was uh, was text one as you see so we opened this position i show you this just to be able to break the ice that you can create your own system by writing codes so opening a position sounds like the most most difficult part so as you see with just two lines of code so we we successfully opened one lot position as we wanted now it's time to put some limitation so let's define a couple of variables integer a equals 1 
integer b equals 2. So here is the statement. If a bigger than b. If this statement is true, then it will open one lot by position. If not, uh, so it will just leave it like this way. So here, as you see, this uh, this condition is not correct. Then, so after I compile, I see no effect. But if I change this a to 5, then this statement will be correct. And in that time, it has to open one lot, one more lot by position. So let's run again. As you see, another position just come after. And I can easily make smaller if a smaller than b, then open by position. So I run, there is no open position. But if I make this back to 1, so after I compile, as you see, it's opened one, one more time by position. So let's make two condition together c equals 5 all this defining has to end with semicolon as you see even if i forgot one of these as you see i will get error and one simple mistake one missing semicolon or parenthesis closing parenthesis will just stop coding so it will give when it gives error so it will it will not work at all that's why we should always be careful about this error this so i end up and now it's time to say if c bigger than b so to be able to see better with top i will okay now so to be able to run this file first of all this this statement has to be true a has to be big smaller than b and C has to be bigger than B. If these two condition will be true at the same time, then we will see this will open position. I compile again. As you see, it's open one more position. I'll close this because when we open too many position, so it will be hard to see it's correct or not. And this is the statement how we can do with bigger and smaller now we will learn in equal if i want to ask if a is equal to b so here is how we can do i will put two exclamation mark so this means if a equals to b so this will be first condition then if c bigger than b so when i run as you see it's not correct but when i when i changed a to two so now this both is equal, then it will open position. So I compile. As you see, it's open. I can multiply this with D as 5. As long as I can go down. So that will mean is end, which means all statement has to be true to D. As you see now, all is correct. So when I compile, when I compile, it successfully opened the position. Okay, I delete them back. If this statement's true, it will uh, execute this only one line. But if I want to do multiple function, if a equals to b, it should open one lot by position. Then it should print this position. Let's do print order as send it semicolon so when i compile as you see it's sent order and this expert file all order has sent it but let's change this a to one which means that it will not open position and it will not print anything so when i compile as you see it's printed this because and uh, this condition only works one line just after. If I want to run a couple of different functions, I need to use this curly parenthesis. Uh, up, I opened curly parenthesis and close curly parenthesis. This time, so if this statement is true, until this closing this curly parenthesis, 
it will execute this order. This only this part will work. So let's compile. As you see, this time we didn't get. So let's make them again equals that we can see its open position. Compile. As you see, it's opened new order. So let's see again. And I delete this part just to be able to see better. I compile. And as you see, it's opened one lot gold position. And this expert section here, as you see. I will show you a little trick so that you can use to be able to see this these codes is on good shape and looking better. Just to, with control comma, as you the system will automatically arrange all this code to, for example, I put just put here top. I put space here. And I put space here. As you see, this really complicated. But when I put control and comma together, and it will arrange all this line. On this video, we covered if statements and we learned how we can open position. On next class, we will go further to be able to understand coding better, to be able to also to understand algorithmic trading the world better. So that's all for today. See you in next video. Bye bye.